How's it going guys, Archer Blake C here with another Bakugan news video. Um, the uh, New York Toy Fair is actually going on this weekend. And uh, I woke up this morning and I forgot the Toy Fair was going on. And uh, a bunch of people were at the Toy Fair and some people found some stuff at the uh, Bakugan, or Spin Master booth. Uh, I was I was waiting forever. I, uh, people were there for like three hours, and there was no pictures of anything Bakugan. And uh, finally, it came through. So um, there are a couple of things to look at. Uh, a lot of it's pretty interesting. If you don't want to be spoiled on future Bakugan releases, uh, I would stop watching now uh, because I, there are going to be a couple of them, and we get a good look at them uh, better than what we've seen before from the uh, Hong Kong Toy Fair pictures. Uh, not all of them, but a lot. So uh, go to my Twitter or on Twitter, if you're following people, uh, chances are somebody retweeted this or something, uh, if you're looking at Bakugan stuff, anyway. Um, but, go to my Twitter, and uh, the last two things I've done uh, is uh, the things that have been posted. Uh, the biggest one here uh, is this picture that was posted to the Bakugan uh, Instagram story, I think. And what it gives us is uh, a lot of closer images of things that we have not seen yet so uh you can look at this picture if you want uh but if you go to uh kodox uh shout out to kodok kodox twitter he posted all of the things that look interesting so we'll start off with the big boys here um this is dragonoid ultra oh oh my god dragonoid ultra and Dra diamond dragonoid ultra and i I'm, I'm telling you guys the Diamond Dragonoid is looking really good. I mean, this is kind of a crappy zoomed-in photo of it, uh, but we've seen Dragonoid. Um, there's been the uh, leaked pic, not leaked, I don't want to say leaked pictures. Uh, pictures have been released of the special ones uh, from the Toy Fair exclusive things. Uh, I'll, I'll show you all those here in a second. But this is our first look at Diamond Dragonoid and Dragonoid Ultra. So, uh, they're looking real good. Uh, we have this one here, which I'm not incredibly sure of what it is. My guess is that it is either um, Garganoid Core or um, maybe like Maxator Core, if that's even going to be a thing. Uh, I think it's going to be Garganoid because we don't have a Maxator Aquas. And we do have a Garganoid Aquas, so it would make sense that they made this for that and I say that because his face is kind of gargoyly and then there's you know little gargoyle horns so that's the only thing I have going off of that uh, I haven't seen anybody else have a good idea of that yet uh, post in the comments what you think there for him hey guys uh, just breaking into the video here um, after I was uploading everything I went on the Bakugan wiki and they had a little more information than I could gather so um, I also also I forgot to completely talk about this which I kind of think is a big deal there was a diamond phaedrus up on the shelf that we didn't talk about kind of a crappy image here but the uh the head's right here and then it slithers on back here it's not a fang zor as much as it looks like it in this picture this is definitely phaedrus we've seen it before so that's the thing uh but the uh oh my god i zoomed in too much here we go the uh other thing i wanted to show you was that the thing i thought was a garganoid core uh i was wrong um they have this picture, and I, I could have looked at it a little better, but there is a little horn right here. So it's definitely like some kind of a Triceratops looking thing. So we saw the Triceratops box garden in the last video, um, but they actually have a name for it, and they they don't want to say how they got the name yet, but they are calling it Trino, like T-R-Y, Rhino, Trino. So maybe it might not be the Triceratops box garden. It might just be some three-horned Rhino kind of deal. Um, but I thought that was interesting and I didn't want to leave that out of the video. So back to your regular schedule programming right now. He's interesting. So this one I'm really excited about because this is Viserox. So in the Hong Kong toy photo, I saw this and I was right because it's, it's definitely him. I mean, you can look at it. Let's get a good look at him. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, good look at him here. Um, but, uh, this is probably, you know, definitely Viserox. All right. Um, I could be wrong. I'm saying it like I know for sure. But this is Viserox. Uh, he's in the latest episode of the show. Um, but this, I mean, the eyes and everything kind of match up. He's got his little claws and stuff like that. Looks like a little crab. Looks real cool. Uh, there were actually a couple of them posted in the picture. Now this one, uh, I don't know what this one is, but Kodok said uh, in a little Twitter 
so we, a bunch of people were commenting back and forth that uh, he thinks that this is some kind of a wasp. Uh, so it could be some kind of a wasp or insect Bakugan of some kind. Uh, I can see how he's getting that off of like these little uh, leggies over here. Uh, if this comes up to like a point or something, that could definitely be like a stinger of a wasp. And then of course some kind of wings here. The face is what I just, I don't know. Uh, it's interesting. So this could be a couple different things. But uh, for now, I guess we can go with a wasp because uh, that does seem like a good guess. This one is one that we have not seen any information for at all. So, there's that one. And then this one is kind of through the shelf, through a glass shelf. That's why it looks so bad on the image. Um, but this one, I think, is going to be Kellyon. Uh, so, let's see if I can find Kellyon. This is the uh, Bakugan wiki uh, here. So, this is kind of what I'm thinking this is. Um, the horns go backwards. He's got a big old thing on his back here. And it looks like he's got a big thing on his back, and he's, he's quadrupedal. So uh, that's my best guess for that. So Kellyon, uh, that would be a darkest Kellyon, I guess. Um, that one's interesting. Um, I don't know about that one yet either. And of course, the best picture we've had yet of Kubo. Uh, he's a very cute boy. Little, you know cute eyes he's he's it looks like his <laughs> it looks like his body's just gonna like shove up inside of him and <laughs> do that uh so he's gonna be really interesting he's very spherical so if these little ears and his nose go in and this goes up he's gonna be probably the most round bakugan we have which is probably gonna be really good for rolling uh depending on you know like where his magnet placement is but this is kobo and if i guess if you haven't seen a good image of kobo yet they have uh have him right here what he's gonna look like in a show so, I mean, it looks, it's literally just the same thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, that's Kubo for you. So, um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, this is Kodak's Twitter. Shout out to him. Go check him out. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel, too. He does a lot of Bakugan stuff and a lot of other toys, too. So, uh, let's go back to mine. And, um, like I was saying, yeah, so here are the special edition... <laughs> Uh, Dragonoids from the uh, I, I guess I call it the special edition box it's a good look at it right there um, but these are the cards for them uh, it's cool because this is Dragonoid Ultra these are not legal for play um, I've had Ventus Knight and a couple other people tell me that for sure uh, they're not legal for play at all obviously because a base 1200 B power is a little outrageous uh, and then uh, the Dragonoid which we're all used to having 200 low B power uh, has a thousand on this card so no this is not legal for play uh, at all um, but we get really cool look at the box a good look at the figures this was our first real good look at Dragonoid Ultra and I love him uh, these are different because they have like a translucent red plastic which I love if I can get my hands on one of these someday I'm gonna be so excited uh, very very excited <laughs> they're so cool I love them so much, uh, but that's the box that they come in. Limited edition, I guess we should say. Uh, so, uh, that's what I wanted to show you from that. So, the last thing was uh, this that Kodok posted. And this is some new crazy figurine with a three-pack. This is, uh, a, a, it's like a large figurine, but it still goes up into a ball. Uh, it says that it lights up and everything. It's pretty crazy. I thought it is on Kodok's page again. He said he posted it again with a better image. Uh, I can't find it right this second. Here we go. Yeah, so it's sideways. Sorry. It's going to be $50. Uh, it's going to be available in fall 2019. Age of 6 plus. Well, I'm uh, 23, so I fit that. And I hope I get one of these. Uh, it says, as the stakes get higher in Battle Planet, a great power will awaken. And the ultimate Bakugan evolution will emerge. Dragonoid Maximus. So, we've seen Maximus cards already, um, and they're, you know, relatively powerful. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, core version, uh, highest level, I think, right? No, it's the ultra version, highest level. So, like, the cores are, like, Hyper and Titan, and then Ultras are Hyper and Maximus. So, there's, like, Maximus, uh, Aquas, Hydrus that we have already, and uh, mm, I can't think of other ones. There's another Maximus Hydrus Ultra, I think, the Chaos one, I think. I don't know. My, my brain's all jumbled up right now. Uh, but 
Uh, it says, see him roar to life with an amazing transformation and lights and sounds, and then power up your brawling and dominate the hide matrix with the exclusive Titan Dragonoid and premium trading cards. So, um, I guess it's going to come with a pack, and then it's going, I mean, there's no way you're going to be able to use it, unless this Bakugan right here is a Titan Dragonoid itself, and it's going to have a different design. So, that makes me wonder whether or not this one down here might be a Titan Dragonoid figure, which makes sense because it has like these double winged things here and it's really close to the same model but there's a little green spot right here which I can't really figure out what it's for I mean you can tell like this is a normal Ultra Dragonoid diamond and it's got one wing this one has like these two wings and I saw this in the Hong Kong photo and I didn't know because I knew it was the shape of Dragonoid so maybe this is the Maximus Dragonoid figure which is very interesting. So that's going to be the first time we see something that's not dif differentiated between the figures of like Ultra and Core. So if that's a thing, that's something that we can look forward to in the future, and that is very, very interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Speculation. This is all things that we've seen. So um, anyway, guys, uh, that's what I've found. That's what the community has found. I don't want to say me. Uh, I'm just on Twitter right now on a video. So... Uh, so appreciate Kodak posting all this stuff. He was there taking pictures. Without him, we wouldn't have seen any of this stuff. So thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, and I'm very excited for all of these products coming out from Spin Master. Uh, it's looking real fun. If this is what it, you know, what kind of that saying it is, I'm very excited. This figure's dope. Uh, I'ma get one uh, somehow, some way. Uh, it looks cool if you can zoom in on it um, Go to the Twitter and find it and zoom in on it on your phone or something. It looks really cool. It's really detailed I like it a lot. I need it <laughs> But anyway, if you like the video make sure you like down below uh, Leave a comment on any speculations you have about any of the figures like there's some of them I don't know tell me what you think they are down below and we can talk about it um, Share the video share it around you know, it's good news big news people need to see it share it around uh, subscribe to the channel Check out the matrix mats down below uh, They're for sale now and check out our patreon down below as well. Uh, it kind of helps us running uh, Keep running anyway but Other than that guys. Thank you for sticking around for all this video and me rambling and uh, I will see you next time. Bye